Hi, and welcome to the most highly rated video in the series on how to use PISA gears for fixed income analysis in South Africa. And of course, we're going to be talking about how to re retrieve rates using uh, PISA gears. And so what we've learned in the previous video, we're going to get uh, yesterday's date using the pt.add workdays function and the pt.today function. Um, this one, so we're going to get yesterday. And then we're going to select the rate types from which rates are available. So there are the Java rates, but there's actually more rates available than that. So coming over to the piece of gears and coming over here, piece of rates and help on this function. We can see all the interest rates that are available and how you can pull them from piece of gears. I'm you can pause the video at this point to have have a look, but jumping back in here, I just want to get the Jaiba 3 month, which is the most common one to use, especially for FRN pricing. And then let's retrieve this. PF dot rates. I want it for this date and I want it for this rate type. I'm using absolute referencing just as a good standard and practice. And sometimes these get returned as number values instead of percentages. So here, what we can do is divide this by 100 just to make it easy for us and show it as a percentage again. So yesterday, the three month Java was 8.35%. And, but we are not just interested for yesterday. We want to see how this rate has changed over time. So let's just, let's not duplicate work. So for the last trading day, we can just reference this cell. And that's good practice. You'd always want to only retrieve the date once in your workbook so that you know there's only one place where you need to check that that date is up to date. And then again, um, adding workdays. And I want to add another 252. And then we are going to retrieve the Jai bar. So there's no easy way to do this, so we have to come in and what we've learned is we want to create a workday vector from the start date to the end date. And because we're dragging this down, absolute referencing is important here. Um, actually, we're not dragging it down. Let's just create the vector for us. And then we come in here and retrieve the rates for each of these dates. Apologies of rates and we're doing it for that date uh, that's not important and what we're doing it for the rate type travel four month absolute referencing is important there and let's not forget to divide by 100 to get the percentage and we're going to convert all of this to a percentage with two decimal places and we're going to be dragging it down and then What we're going to be doing is we're going to be graphing it and changing the chart type to a line chart. And we can see what the trend of the Java 3 month has been over the last year. And that's it for this highly rated video. See you in the next one.